Okay, so I wanted to go over a little bit more about uh, mono versus stereo tracks and also panning. I think some of this stuff might be useful for this week's assignment, and we didn't get to it in class. So um, what we've got here is a stereo track, some running bubbling water. And uh, right off the bat, one thing I notice is that um, this could actually be amplified a bit so that we're working with um, a waveform that's taking up a little more space. So let's just amplify that. I already had used that previously, so it's right there for me. So let's try that again. Okay, so that's a little more full of a sound to work with. So the next thing I'm going to do is... What I can tell here is that it looks like, although I've got a stereo track, I've got these two here, they're actually repeated. Looks to me like, based at least on looking at the waveform, like this one and this one are pretty much the same. The way I can double check to make sure that's the case is I'm going to actually split this from a stereo track into two mono tracks. And what I have now is two tracks. They're the same as they were before, except that I can listen to them independently. So let's listen to the top one. Okay, and let's give a listen to the bottom one. They sound pretty much identical to me. What that tells me is that um, the sound wasn't balanced either way on those original tracks. Sometimes with a, a stereo track, say if you were recording a band um, and you had a couple of mics, maybe you had one mic picking up the guitarist on one side and you had another mic picking up the vocals on the other side. Maybe when the track is mixed, you want it to sound like um, the guitarist was off to the right. So one of your tracks would have the guitarist louder on it, or maybe would be entirely devoted to the art, um, guitarist. So if we got rid of that track, we would entirely lose the guitar. That's actually not the case here. Um, both tracks have the exact same content. So we have a decision to make. We could just entirely get rid of one of those tracks and we still have what we had previously, and our file size is now going to be a lot smaller, probably by about half. But the other option we have, now that we have two identical tracks, is to adjust the panning on them and play around with the um, directionality of where the sound is coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and pan this one all the way to the left, and this one all the way to the right. Now let's listen again. It still sounds exactly the same, but what's happened is um, one is coming from the right um, headphone speaker and one's coming from the left. And the way I can tell that is if I solo this one, I only hear it in my left ear. Let's solo this one, I only hear it in my right ear. Okay, so great. Doesn't seem much different, but what we can do at this point is we can grab the envelope tool and play around with adjusting um, the volume of each of these tracks independently. So let's say we're going to start out with the sound coming primarily from the left speaker. So let's make that pretty loud. Maybe back here we'll shrink it down a bit and then eventually maybe I want it to go all the way down to zero. Maybe not quite that dramatically. Right about there. Okay, and let's do the opposite on the other track. Maybe right here it'll go to full volume. Back here I want it to start coming in and somewhere around here it'll still be at zero. So let's shrink that way down so we can't hear it initially and then it gets a little louder and then let's have it go all the way up to full volume because I lost my selector tool. Okay, right up to full volume there. Maybe I want this to be a little more gradual so I'll drag it up over here. Okay, so let's see what that sounds like now. So basically what we just achieved through playing with panning is somewhat of an impression that the sound started out on our left hand side and kind of moved around behind our head and then out onto the right hand side and then we could diminish it if we wanted it to sound like it was disappearing. So it's a tool that you can play around with to create a sense of space in your audio pieces this week.